Hey, you bookworms. You want to go fishing? Yeah. Not you, Mr. Winkles. So I'm going to shoot a video of the day for creating an inline spinner for yourself. It's a uh, metallic fishing lure. It's got a lot of flash to it. It attracts fish um, on multiple levels. There's um, not only the vibrations in the water, but there's also going to be sound involved. Uh, we're going to use a bell-shaped uh, cone for our uh, inline spinner. So what you'll need, and I'll put the Amazon links in the description below. So you're going to need a kit. Um, the one I bought off Amazon comes with um, rods with a circle bottom where you can connect either a uh, inline hook, like a bait hook, like this, a straight bait hook, or treble hook. You can put treble hooks with feathers on them, uh, but this... It comes with this rod, it comes with large spheres, and it comes with small spheres. It comes with blades, either hammered or smooth. So, you know, hammered will give you a different look in the water. It also comes with clevises, and I'll explain all of this in just a sec. So you can get uh, gold or silver. Um, these come in a separate uh, container. I bought these because I like the cones with the bells in them. Um, I think it attracts the fish more. You'll see these on lure on inline spinners like a blue fox vibrax. Um, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Um, I've created an inline spinner for myself. Um, I caught a fish on it earlier today and then lost it. I'll show you the video. What is this? Wow, look at this guy. All right. So I decided to come back home and I'm gonna make two of them, one for me and uh, one just to have in the tackle box for the boys. Um, so here we go. So what you wanna do, you wanna get your uh, rod you want to put your hook on it. I'm using this particular hook because it's small um, and I can put different kinds of lures on it. I can put a two inch bait of any kind I want. Uh, you can put a lure that has a paddle tail on it. You can put a lure that has a skirt on it. You can put trout magnets or crappie magnets on it. Um, you can put any kind of pan fish lure you want on it that has the action that you like. Um, you will still get fish hookup ratios. So you can use something like this, blue with a white skirt, or Quentin's favorite, black with a chartreuse. So uh, those are just two examples of what you can use this for. So I put my hook on. It's at the bottom of that circle. You then take a large sphere, thread it through your rod. It needs to go over both rod pieces like that, okay? There are some individuals who will bend this over and then cut it off. I didn't do that, but I'm gonna do it on this particular one. So I've taken some pliers and I pulled it down. I got some snips on it. It's going to snip it off. So what that does is it keeps that sphere at the bottom and when you put your next piece the inside of the bell over your rod it down it does not come in contact with the sphere the sphere is there to keep this loop closed so I've got my bell 
uh, clang in there. So I'm going to put my bell over the top. So it's going to sit like that inside of it. So next you will put on your small sphere over the top of the bell. I'm going to take my glasses off to see this kind of work. Even though I have transition glasses, it's not always the best. So, that's what you have so far. So then, you have your blade and then your clevis. So the blade is concave and convex, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to put your blade to where both sides are pointing outwards, okay? Both sides are pointing outwards. That's very important because you want this blade to go around the bell. So when it spins, it will spin around the bell in the water. So that's basically what it looks like. You will need to put a loop here at the top. We'll do that with pliers and then we'll twist it around. The length of the loop or where you want it is completely up to you. If you want a little bit longer, if you want to put more beads in here to give it a larger profile, you can. You can put different colored beads here. I'm just using gold for right now. Um, but you can order some online and put different color beads on this spinner bait to give it just a different look. There's also different kinds of uh, blade styles. You've got skinny blade styles, um, blades that have a dent, like, like a, a dent in them, and then you just put the blade down in here. Um, so it's convex and concave. You see those on Panther Martins. Um, this is just what I started out with, and they work really well. So this is what I do struggle with. I'm not going to lie. So I try to grab it with two pairs of pliers. I need space in between where I'm going to make my tie where it connects to the fishing line or a um, clasp that has a, uh, a snap swivel. You can get uh, wire benders. I don't happen to have any, surprisingly, after all the years I've lived in the house. It's not one thing I've needed. So you want to make your tie loop really, you want the loops to be kind of tight because this is what's holding this together when you're pulling it through the water. There's going to be a lot of pressure on this point right here. You want to make sure it still moves. It does for me. So I'm going to clip off this end here. big boy hands right so this is what we end up with oh what, what is this oh my gosh look at that holy moly it's one for the panther martin Two on the Panther Mark. How about that? There we go. Dang. I'm fishing it too fast. Holy moly. I'm going to have to use like a old Johnson reel. Slow it down. Oh boy. 
small bluegill. Yeah. You hit it though. You hit it like a tank, Mr. Sir. You hit that one hard. Oh boy. What's this? Little guy. Holy moly. Buddy. Alright, so we're definitely not going to switch out to a slower reel. Not if I have to. Pull this in at a medium or medium pace. The thing about gear ratios is you can always slow your retrieve. When you have a reel that is not as quick, it's hard to speed up. What is this? Well, 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 well. I'm telling you. I don't know how much more training I need on this. So it looks like I got it.